All right, task at hand today is uh, chasing, changing blades on our bad boy Maverick 60 inch lawnmower. First thing you need to do it, of course, is a 9,000 pound two, po two post lift. That, that works real well. <laughs> But if you don't have one of those, I guess you could just jack it up. I kind of hooked this thing right there and it's hooked behind there and it's not moving. And these brakes are locked unless you release them manually. So it's sitting there. I don't think it'll kill me today. These things are locked in with those pins right here. So they can't really move. It wouldn't move anyway, it's solid. It ain't going nowhere, just kicked it. So, yeah, I uh, got a half inch impact, a little DeWalt impact. This thing works pretty good. I use these batteries. I kind of get them like two for, at least these I got two for, uh, they're six amps for like 69 bucks. Where if you get the regular DeWalt, they're expensive. I keep them, I get them two at a time. I keep them on uh, this little thing over here to uh, keep them charged. And I've got another one up here. And I experiment with different ones, and sometimes they don't work. The charging station itself, I think that was $109, but this this one quit working. These, these three still are working. This battery here, let me slide it back in. It'll start blinking, but I think this battery's getting tired. But they work good. These help make my weed eaters and my chainsaws and stuff run a lot longer. This, I'm just using this port for storage right now. These work pretty good, but they're only the, I think these, well, I think that's a six. This is a nine. Yeah, that's what it is. These are all nines. Oops, slipped a little bit. These are all nines. And uh, I think that big one over there is a nine. But the six works good in this impact for what I gotta do. So, and then it takes 15 16 socket. To get these loose and then I bought a set of these uh, put that on there Oregon gator blades the I bought they had six for the same deal it was a pretty good deal so I got uh, we'll see if they fit I think they'll fit I've used these before they're not like super sharp on the edge but they're not as bad as these these are that are on there are getting pretty beat up I run into stuff there's little rocks around out there that I can't see and then uh, they're what they call, you can kind of see how beat up there. They're what they call uh, their torsion blade. And it's got a little deal here for the blowing it up to mulch it more. We'll see how these gator style blades work. Um, really, uh, I'll have to probably see if I can't prop this camera up on something and uh, show you the process. But there's three blades on this beast, and uh, we'll see how hard they are to come off. and. Uh, Shouldn't be too hard. This should be a pretty simple job. So um, we'll get on it. See what see what we got. Yeah. So rather than try to do this one-handed, and we'll see how the microphone picks up. This is a little weird doing it like this. I just have this propped up. Rather than try to do it one-handed, I'll try to. Oops. Let me get my hand over here. I'll try to uh, film this and edit it if it's boring, and uh, we'll move along and see what we got here. Let me get my uh, impact. Take off these headphones. Set them over here. Don't damage them. All right. Get down here and see what we got. Let's see how hard these are to come off. I don't see any grease fittings on these. I'm pretty sure they're sealed. Most of this thing's sealed. There's a couple grease fittings up there. Let's see. I'd hurt my arm, my shoulder a little bit, so it's tricky for me to... There's one. Pretty easy. I figured it'd pop right off there. Looks like it's... Uh, 15 16 but this looks like a yeah, probably half inch, maybe 7 16 fine thread. Let's see. I 
that's two. Let me do this. Let me set this over here. I don't know if I'm blocking the camera. Before we get too crazy. Looks like they're about the right size. They're not as heavy. These organs aren't aren't as thick. Looks like these stock ones are quarter inch. The organs are, yeah, probably three sixteenths. They're not gonna be as stout. So we shall see what we shall see. We'll test them. The biggest thing uh, does show me that the factory ones are a little bit stronger. Looks like the hole's right. Looks like that's correct. Let's uh, put this one back up. Well, right here anyway. Get it started. Double check clearance on it. Let me just put, button this up. I'll tighten it up after a minute. <laughs> Probably an eighth of an inch back there. Yeah, as long as I don't hit nothing with that deck. And I'll tighten that up in a little bit. These things are, uh, this looks like they bolt to it. Doesn't look like it's going to need uh, a notch or anything like that to put in there. So let's see what we got here. Again, with my shoulder, I'm not doing too good, so I'll have to figure this out a little bit differently. Yeah, kind of sucks when you uh, hurt your dominant hand, <laughs> hurt your dominant arm a little bit. It's not bad though; it's just annoying. Oh, let me get over here. creeper but it's such a simple job and plus I didn't want to raise it up anymore <clears throat> all right need a little dust a little grass that looks pretty clean surprising I thought it'd be more dirty bearings all look good in this of course it's only got I don't know I'm gonna say I have 50 hours 50 60 hours in that not too bad, had its first oil change already, so it's not bad. We'll have to see, I think it's about two and a half hours to mow this four acres with this beast. Alrighty, let's tighten this. Tighten it until she don't turn. Good enough for me. There's probably a torque spec on this, but tighten it until it don't turn. And uh, fine thread, 7 16 half inch, it's on there. It ain't going nowhere. She's good. And then uh, everything else looks good under here. Looks like it's holding up, nothing's damaged. Like I said, I'll hit stones once in a while, but it looks like the deck hasn't uh, sustained any damage. This is a big old thick. They've got a piece of uh, 3 8 all the way around the perimeter here. They got some uh, pieces welded up in there. That's pretty interesting. Yeah, bad boy don't mess around. These are, these are quarter inch steel, these wheels. Yeah, it's the first time I looked at this deck and they're supposed to use real good spindles. So I think this beast I think clearance wise, we're good. I don't see anything hitting. So we'll see how these work. They are a little lighter. Like they may hit a rock and bend. For these, yeah, these are pretty stout. These may spin a little quicker, easier. They're not super sharp on the edge. These took a lot of, yeah, you can kind of see they took some damage. I could probably clean these up, balance them. Yeah, there's some big chunks there. Oh uh, well, we'll see how these organs hold up. To, I've been picking up a lot of rocks, cleaning up a lot of stuff. So we'll see. Try not to hit as much. I don't think those organs are going to sustain or understand too much abuse compared to those stock blades. I think Bad Boy did a good job with these blades too. Because I've 
I've hit some stuff. Yeah, yeah, we'll see. Yeah, these are chewed up pretty good on the, on the edges. And they're war. Like I said, they're what they call a torsion blade. And uh, let me get them out of the way. They're what they call a, I'll show you. See the edges. <laughs> That's my bad. Or what they, they're what they called a torsion blade, which is supposed to be a pretty good heavy steel, tempered steel blade. And uh, I don't know, organs may be mild carbon steel, maybe, I don't know. I guess I've used those before, but the whole goal is to not run into stuff if you can help it. But these don't have a notch or anything to fit in there, just a regular circle. You just tighten them up there. I think that's, if it does hit something super hard, it might spin a little bit on that washer and bolt because there's no notch there to hold it. This, in other words, it's not centric to the hole. And then everything else looks pretty good down in here. Holding up I like those drive units so far. Um, I've adjusted my uh, handles a little bit. And then, uh, like I said, the only grease points I see are on these things and I'll grease them today give them a little shot they don't take much otherwise it's other than an oil change it's pretty maintenance free but yeah you guys just uh, showed you the little procedure changing uh, blades on a Maverick bad boy let her down see what she does it's pushing uh, pushing that in let me see yeah Pushing again against this uh, torsion sway bar. It's only going to go out so far, so I'll have to watch that when it goes back down. May have to manually release these brakes so it can roll backwards and not bind in that. But I'm going to need two hands to do that. So, all right, you guys. Um, that's uh, the video on this thing. Just thought, in case anybody's interested or anybody has one of these, and, and then uh, I'll give you a little bit of a shot afterwards and see how it mows and cuts because uh, I'm going to be mowing today. My little field out here is getting getting ready. Got some dent clovers on this side. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, this will need to be mowed. I got to move this thing and clean up. I got a little extra stuff left over for some construction. A neighbor over there at the Red Barn is supposed to come get it, but it's been raining a lot. And then I still got to do this winch. I'm going to unbox it and mount it on my Super Duty over there. And then I still got all these parts here. I showed you guys this before, but just again, to put on this uh, 66 sitting here. So I'll be continuing to work on those things. And then of course I still got my 56 Ford that I'm doing this Coyote swap on. And that's all in the works. But uh, you have your regular chores to do, yard mowing and stuff. Got a couple peach trees. We're going to see if we get any peaches this year. Got an apple tree over there. They seem to be doing good. Last year they froze a little bit. We'll see how that shakes out. But yeah, all right, you guys. Talk to you later. Thanks for watching. Bye. Okay, guys. This is uh, after mowing. Probably 35 40 minutes. Looks like the blade's holding up good. It's kind of got the paint off of it. Kind of see where some of these uh, teeth have uh, done some mulching and lifting. Looks like it's still out on the end predominantly and on the edges of these blades. Yeah, we'll see. It's, it's relatively smooth. Seems a little quieter. Of course, that's a big chunk of metal. And then uh, the area that I mowed is over here. I've got some more down in these woods. I got, I'm getting out the weed eater. But um, yeah, it, it knocked down this pretty good. It was real smooth. I didn't put down the mulch guard or the mulch plate to mulch it because it wasn't really that deep. But uh, this was uh, kind of getting up there. But mostly I mowed it just to uh, get it knocked down because I'm going to be busy this week. But yeah, it, it came out nice. It did real good. This this backyard here 
I, I don't fertilize it or take care of it very much. I just mow it and uh, keep it knocked down. The one over in front of the house, behind the house, is more formal. Kids play ball out here, run around. The dog runs back here. It's more for that. But it knocked it down. Some of these clover and stuff, it got down. Some of this stuff down in a little dip here doesn't get too good because that deck's so big. But yeah, it, it did a good job. Those blades seem good. We'll see how long they last. Haven't hit anything with them yet, so <laughs> that makes it makes a difference. Anyways, uh, yeah, just I'll wrap this up and uh, so those little organ blades I got. I want to say I don't think I paid that much for me. I think uh, wasn't that much, but for all six blades, shoot, I want to say 50, 60 bucks. I don't even know if it was that much. That's off of memory though. Don't hold me to it. All right, you guys, see ya.